Uh, another thing that you don't want to do, and I've done it before, you don't want to drop tires off. Oh crap, oh no, oh no, oh god. Oh. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more My Summer Car, and today we are ready to win this trophy a buddy. We're gonna go enter the race again. Uh, I'm not gonna race with the G27 this time. It made a little bit too much noise for the last video, or it was actually the video before. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go for the gold. So I'm gonna be super aggressive. I kinda think I know the course a little bit more now. It's gonna be the same rally course as last time. So let's go, uh, we're gonna take this over here and you know what, I love this trophy, but you're gonna go here on the mantle. We're gonna get you a gold, buddy. I, I hope the gold trophy's at least a little bit bigger because that would look so much more awesome. So anyways, here's the course over here. Uh, we're gonna start, I think we go out our driveway, take a right and take another right. We should get to the uh, the main starting line. So what we're gonna need, uh, of course we need beer. Um, actually, yeah, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take the beer. I do apologize about the mess in the kitchen. I did clean my driveway though. It all ended up in the kitchen. So we're gonna take this out here and ooh, you know what? We're gonna take the one that's a lot more full. I would take the uh, extra strong booze, but I wanna be able to try to make it home, but we, we need this. This is definitely a positive thing. So anyways, the rally car is ready. All the stuff's installed. We got the uh, roll cages in, the five point, four point, whatever it is, harness. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get out of the driveway here. Let's go ahead and move some of this crap out of the way. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try this with the remote. Not 100% sure, and oh yeah, look at this. Somebody uh, pointed this out last episode. I lost the Christmas gift, like I opened it up and I only had the money card and there was like the bottle of booze, but apparently the lights had shot through the ground and they actually shot through the house because I was wandering around the house and I found it. I was like, what are these? And it's the uh, Christmas lights. So we can install these in the car. Uh, I don't know, can we change the color of these? I don't think so. Uh, they look kind of sweet, so. I'm gonna put those in there. Of course, we got the Komodo Gaming Rally Car and up. Oh, yep. Yeah, I had to do that. Let's go ahead and just get this all out of us. But anyways, folks, I think we are ready to go here. Uh, I guess we're gonna start this bad boy up, grab a couple beers and get going with it. All right, we're gonna try to fill this out real quick. This is a little bit weird with the remote. Uh, I don't know, this is, this is all kind of funky. And actually, I really, <laughs> I don't like these lights anymore. They won't stop flashing. Oh, I'm gonna have to drink more beer. So anyways, I'm gonna use this one remote. I think it's gonna still be better than using the keyboard. Uh, there does seem to be a little bit of dead zone in here, so I have to get used to the thumbstick. Uh, the uh, car does have the 900 degrees of rotation, so when you see that wheel flip over all the way, it's really aggressive, and it kind of throws me off a bit. So anyways, another thing I need to really work on, and there we go, I killed it again. I, ah. This is always a complaint on all my comment sections. I kill the car when I go from neutral to first. I don't like dump the clutch, which I'm doing it now. There we go. Uh, normally, I just shift forward and it stalls the car out every time. So I don't know. Let's get a feel for this. Uh, the actual rally start is it's really not far from here at all. So I got to get a feel for this. I got to get, get a feel for the new gearing. Uh, it does feel like it has a lot more pickup in the lower gears, which is actually really great for rallying. You know what? This actually feels pretty good. This isn't bad at all. I thought maybe the dead zone, actually, you know, we might adjust that a little bit here, but you know, I feel like we're actually gonna do a great job in this rally. Like this feels good. This feels really good. Uh, the gearing feels pretty decent. I like the shift light on the new tack here. So I kind of wish it glared a little bit. That way I can see it. A lot of times when I'm doing like racing, I'm not really paying attention to the shift light. I just see it out of the corner of my eye, so I really do wish it was brighter, but other than that, I have no complaints here. We need to go find the uh, the actual course start here, and I believe we're going to do good. Uh, cross our fingers here. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here real quick. We are at the rally start. I am actually really nervous. <laughs> this is one of those games, like, if you crash, you break your car. So, yeah, here's the uh, guy from the repair shop, and let's see here. Let's go ahead and grab the... Why can't I grab this? Come on, grab it. Grab it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I switched that with the remote. Okay, so yeah, this is the same track. We start down, uh, we're down at the bottom there, and we swing all the way around to town. This isn't a bad course. Let's just go ahead and sign our death wish. I mean, our, sign the uh, the waivers and registration, and uh, we're ready to go here. 
You know, something doesn't feel right about this. I've got a, I've got like this little pit in my stomach here about this rally. So, uh, what we're gonna do here is just get it out of our head. Uh, we're gonna pull up, there's a little box up here. We trigger the, uh, red little emblem and then it'll count down to five. There's like this little waiting period. So, ideally, you want to stay back about right here and as soon as the counter starts, you want to gun it and you want to cross that line kind of right around the time it says drive. So, you know, I really want to hit the guy on the right just to see what would happen. I think it'd be actually really funny. So, all right, giving it some gas here. I'm gonna dump it, uh, waiting for the counter. Okay, there's the counter, all right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Okay, don't do it like that. You actually want to get going, so, you know, we're fine, we're fine. All right, this is a little weird. I gotta, gotta fill this out. I didn't go too fast on the way over here, so I'm not 100% confident in what's gonna happen, and you know what, this isn't too bad. This isn't bad at all, actually. This feels good. All right. Uh, this first section's fairly easy. The only thing you've got to watch out for is some of these, uh, cliffs here on the sides. Uh, another thing that you don't want to do, and I've done it before, you don't want to drop tires off- Oh crap, oh no, oh no, oh god, oh no! No. No. No, that- no, that didn't just happen. No. Oh no. No! All the hard work! No! <laughs> <laughs> we got some serious hang time there. What the heck? Uh, oh no, that's, that's not good at all. Okay, well, you know, this is gonna end in a couple different scenarios. Either the car is completely totaled and I'm screwed, or, I don't know, maybe we could fix it. Um, I'm not very happy with myself right now. You know, let's go ahead and open the door here. I guess we're gonna have to take the van over there, which I don't even look forward to doing that. So yeah, obviously I don't have permadeath on, that's kind of obvious. Uh, but that doesn't mean the car can't die, and that is my main worry is that the car is completely dead And we're gonna have to basically either repair it or send it to a repair shop Come on you piece of crap crank Ugh. Yeah, so I, I don't really look forward to uh, coming up and seeing what might be left of the car. Oh Boy, I think we're coming up on the accident scene if I'm not mistaken. It's like a couple more bins here. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. I really hope she just rolls home because I want to give it a proper burial if I need to. Uh, let's see, looking for parts. I don't see any here. Hmm, I could have, oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, boy. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull over here and, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I saw something back there. It might have been an exhaust. I don't know, let's kill the engine. I hope I don't get hit out here. The last thing I want to do is get hit by the drunk guy, so... Ugh, okay. Car's back there. Oh, I see the window is busted. Uh, what the heck is this? Is this the... Oh, it's just a bumper. Okay. You know, it's okay. That is a replaceable item. Uh, we can, uh... We could buff that out easily, so... We're gonna open up the van here and try to grab all the parts that we can find. I guess I should check and see if the car actually turns over. That would be amazing. I mean, if this thing actually cranks up, we are in business. We are not dead in the water here. So, throw that there. And we're gonna grab the rest of the stuff here. Oh man, yeah, she's seen better days. Where's the, where's the fender at? Um, let's look around the area real quick. I'm trying to figure out which impact killed me. Maybe this tree, uh, maybe the tree, maybe that tree? Uh, I can hardly see through these trees. Oh, she's kind of sitting in the middle of a tree. Oh, okay, there's the windshield. Uh, we can't do anything about that. I seem to be missing a fender. <laughs> Where did that go? Oh, <laughs> you are kidding me. Is that the fender? Is that... Okay, am I seeing a re weird reflection? Or is the fender and stuff down here? Uh, let's go below water. <laughs> oh, wow, that did get some air time. That is amazing. So, here's our fender. Okay. Well, we got that back. Uh, that'll... Yeah, that'll buff out, right? I really hope there's no more important parts down there, and I hope it's just the fender. Maybe everything else is attached, uh, besides this and the uh, the windshield. 
course, I don't expect the windshield to survive, but, uh, Fender? Eh. You know, I think this is the same one we lost before, too. Alright, uh, let's see here. You know, the roll cage didn't do its job as far as not killing me, uh. Hey, look, we still have beer. That's a thing. Okay. That's good. Uh, is it still drinkable? Might be a little bit warm. So, uh, let's see. Are there any parts inside the car that I should be aware of? Uh, there's our chips. Um, yeah. You know what? Were we... Uh, I don't know. Okay, that seems to be secured. Okay, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's see what happens. Come on, puppy. What the heck? Are you kidding me? This thing actually still cranks. How in the heck can I die and the car survive? Jeez. They just don't build the finish like they used to. So, uh, I don't know. It sounds like it's running a little bit rough, but uh, this is actually not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's dump her up in the first. Does she drive? She drives forward. Oh, it's not dead. The door even shuts. Okay, uh, let's pull her off to the side here. I gotta make sure. Um, I think I was just missing the fender. I think that was really it. Let's go ahead and open this up. Have a look see uh, right at the crash site here. Um, yeah. Wow, that is a miracle. It's like a Christmas miracle. I mean, even though Christmas is over with now, but still, it's like a Christmas miracle. And even the lights are still going. You know what? I really don't like that van. We're just going to take the car home. The van, we'll come pick it up later. I was just expecting that we were going to have to tow this bad boy home, but apparently she's in pretty good shape. I mean, except for, I mean, most of it. But you know what? It still runs. It's, it's all that counts. So, uh... Give her some gas here. Watch out for the green menace. I don't see him. Oh, look at that. Wow, this has still got some pickup to it. That is amazing. It's like it never died. I mean, it's just, this is great. Uh, wow. You know, actually, the vision's quite a bit clearer, too. You know, maybe we should have drove without a, uh, a windshield in the first place. This is actually not bad at all. So, let's go ahead and fill her out. Uh, steering seems to be aligned. Yeah, I'm not drifting any. I, I switched back to the keyboard if you're wondering why the uh, steering wheel's so jerky here. Still got plenty of power to her. There's barely anything wrong with this. We're just gonna grab the sledgehammer and just beat the crap out of her and it'll be fine. You know, I really could just delete the mesh file. Uh, that's something you guys have been always suggesting that I do. It's like, hey, just delete the mesh file. <laughs> we'll never notice that the car no longer has dents in it. Uh, I like to kind of keep it as real as possible, but uh, yeah, we might be doing that. Ah, uh, here we are, home sweet home. So yeah, uh, we're gonna evaluate this thing a little bit, a little bit closer. We're gonna pop the hood, check on everything, see what might be broken. I <laughs> have to refill some fluids. But yeah, I am really actually proud of this car. This is a very very sturdy car. Let's uh, let's have a closer look here. So we're missing the fender. It's uh, it's in the uh, passenger seat. Uh, the front end actually doesn't look that bad, to be honest with you. The bumper's still there. Uh, oh, look, the right side's not that bad. The door panel's a little crushed. Uh, where's that sledgehammer at? Oh, we might whack that a couple times. We don't need a windshield, but uh, who needs that? Let's in fresh air. Uh, I got a ding in the back. Of course, we're missing the back. Is that the Christmas lights? I didn't know those wrapped all the way around there. Uh, as far as back damage, yeah, that looks like it's going to be okay. I'll put the spoiler back on. This side's not too bad. So you know what? Despite the fact that we died... We're actually in decent shape. Let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick and inspect that. Obviously, it still runs, so I don't think there's anything that's going to happen here as far as the hood or under it. Um, yeah. That is surprising. Everything looks to be in place. Actually, are we missing? No, that's the uh, exhaust down there. No. <laughs> what the heck? You know what? That is... That's amazing. That is a little bit of a miracle. Let's go ahead and grab this sledgehammer real quick and just give it a couple whacks. Uh, last time I tried this, this didn't work, and I don't know if this is a thing, but, I mean, what's it gonna do? It's not like it's gonna hurt the car any worse, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and whack this door real quick. Come on. Whack. Come on, whack the door. Whack it. There we go. Is that, is that helping? Is that, nope, that's making it worse. Alright, that's why we don't use that, so, just get rid of that. Well, you know what? This is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode today, guys. Uh, I did not expect this to happen. I thought we were going to actually get a rally race in. But I guess, you know what? We're still going to celebrate. This is cause for celebration because that, I don't know how we managed to survive that. But yeah, let's just party it up and oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Uh, what we're going to do next is, I don't really know. We're going to have to figure out something to do. So comment below with suggestions. 
I really do want to get the body somewhat fixed, at least get the fender back on. And we might go run in a different race. We might go do some drag racing. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, thank you guys for all the support on this series. And if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on My Summer Car. Thank you.